everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA action for March 13th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools here to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're down to the final month of the NBA season, and there's plenty of important games as we're getting ready for playoff action. So let's take a look at some of these games. Scroll down through here. Now we're not going to look at all. We're going to take a look at four of these games. The first one we want to look at is Utah Jazz and Miami Heat. Miami comes in, average down, winners of four out of their last six, coming off of a loss. And the Jazz are ice cold up, winners of two of their last six, and they're just coming off of a win. You notice that on the over-under that Utah has been over the line the last four games and Miami for the last five games. So the trend is over the line between these two teams. And the score prediction has a 116-113 edge for Miami with about 65% level of confidence. Uh, the power ranks indicator shows Miami on the upward trend. They were at plus 11 back on March 3rd. They are now at plus 20, while Utah is down at plus 5. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between these two teams, back on December 31st, in the only meeting between the teams this season, Miami won by 3 points as a road underdog. If you see how consistent the teams have been with regard to their favorite underdog status, you see Utah is down here at zero. They have been pretty inconsistent, while Miami has been fairly consistent at plus 16. In the end, I like Miami to win this one, but I would pass on the over-under bet. Memphis and Dallas, this should be a really good game. Neither team has been playing their best ball lately. Uh, Memphis 3-3 three three over their last six. They, they are average, coming off of a win, while Dallas is ice cold down. They are two and four over their last six games. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that uh, Memphis is at plus 23 and Dallas is at plus 21. Both teams are in the middle of the playoff hunt though. Dallas is eighth in the conference and uh, Memphis is uh, third in, in the Western Conference. But the score predictor has Dallas by a 121-14 score with about 61% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, it was all Dallas in the opener against these, uh, between these two teams, 137-96 as a home favorite back on October 22nd. The stability factor, Memphis among the most stable teams in the league, you can see a pretty straight upward trend. They're at plus 36. Well, Dallas is still pretty consistent as well. Not as consistent lately, but they are at plus 19. I like Memphis in this one. I think this is a Memphis game. Uh, and I'll go over the line. The next game we want to look at is Phoenix and Golden State. Phoenix comes in burning hot, winners of their last four, while Golden State is, has lost their last three. You see the odds right now are even up at 1.83 apiece. And the score prediction has a, a very tight one as well. Golden State 117, Phoenix 116, with about 58% level of confidence in the prediction. Uh, if you look at the over-under, Phoenix over the line in the last three games, and Golden State in the last two. So lately, the trend has been over the line after both teams were in games under the line. Um, the power ranks indicator shows Phoenix is at plus 18. Golden State was at 22, and they have dropped in there now down to plus 13. If you look at the stability factor, you see that Phoenix is at plus 23, while Golden State is at plus 16. Both teams are showing pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like Golden State at home in a game going over the line. The last one we want to look at here is Milwaukee and Sacramento. Both teams come in burning hot, 5-1 uh, and one for Milwaukee over their last six, and Sacramento also 5-1 and one over their last six. If you look at the over-under, both teams have been involved in games under the line uh, most recently, but over in four of the last six for both. The score predictor has Sacramento by a 117-113 to 113 score, with a pretty high level of confidence of 78%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Milwaukee remains among the tops in the league there at plus 28, while Sacramento, after a slight dip there, back up to plus 22. The head-to-head -head matchup shows that in the first game between the two teams this season, Milwaukee won by 13 points as a home favorite. That was back on December the 7th. If you look at the volatility oscillator, both teams are showing Good stability. Um, Sacramento was actually higher in the stability factor 
back at the beginning of the year, but they have leveled off. They have not been as consistent lately. While you see Milwaukee's trend is upward, they have been very consistent. So in the end, I like this one to go. Uh, I think I like Milwaukee in this one. It's a really going to be a tight game. I like Milwaukee this one uh, in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the four games we want to take a look at for the NBA for March the 13th. Happy betting. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.